Visible Welding is pleased to present a series of video presentations covering the WeldWatch EDU Weld Tutoring System, which was developed with major funding by the U.S. Navy through the NSRP program. In this last video, we hear from some of the instructors who have used the WeldWatch EDU system as they discuss their experiences as well as look into the future of video in weld training. Uh, my name is Rod Bobbin. Uh, I'm a weld instructor at Bollinger Shipyard in uh, Lockport. I've been an instructor for five and a half years. Uh, my name is Emmett Boudreau. I'm the vocational instructor at Bollinger Shipyard in Lockport. Uh, I've been there for the past 40 years. Well, they came in and um, they, they set the machine themselves. We went over with them what had to be done and everything. They ran some beads. It pinpointed to them how they were holding the angle, the distance of the nozzle that they were holding. Um, it showed them how to set themselves, reset themselves, what they were doing right and what they were doing wrong. It showed them the different amperage that they were running, why it was explained to them they were running a high amperage or a low amperage. Back when I started out, uh, it, was, it was a lot more difficult. I mean, there was no instant replay as far as uh, seeing exactly what was taking place. It was making a bead and then if, if, there was, if the instructor wasn't around to actually witness the actual bead itself, I mean, he, he had to spend time one-on-one -on -one with you where he could come back now with this machine, you can come back and replay the actual same well and see exactly what's happening, the volts, amperage, uh, uh, arc length, uh, and what's taking place actually during the welding process. Well, what we did was, um, as they were welding, they seen the position that they were holding. They seen the turning of the nozzle. They seen how the nozzle should be straight. They seen the distance that they should hold for the wire as they're welding. Um, in time, they did learn to pick it up and they did do better by watching the machine. Looking at the, at the amperage especially, you can tell if he's, he's changing the arc length uh, uh, by the amperage going up or going down. You can tell how the arc, arc length is, 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 how he's holding his, uh, whip or the stick rod or uh, MIG gun or TIG torch. I mean, it works for all the processes. A lot of it was explained to them about the short circuit, was the reason for it, was the outcome for it, what we expect to look for. Um, some of them did good jobs. Some of them went back and replayed it and correct their mistakes. By looking back at what they were seeing, they passed that first process with us through short art. Well, we had two uh, Two trainees uh, didn't have any welding experience and uh, came in and within a, a, a week, or, about a week of working with them, uh, they were from uh, no experience to uh, being able to pass a, an actual welding uh, tacker's test. They were, they were comfortable with it because I feel like this is something the age that they need to know, at the age of the upcoming of the year, that's something that Something they do, they play around with videos and everything, and it gives them an idea and a pinpoint at the same time, enjoying what's going on, they're learning as they're enjoying what they're seeing. Most of the younger kids, younger generation, has some type of computer experience, whether video games or uh, computer use in, in high schools and stuff like that, so it made, uh, they, they advanced on it pretty quickly. And everything being more compact, uh, the controls are more or less right there available for for your use ease of ease of use and i'm sure in the in the future somewhere you'll be able to do this uh online and uh in in remote areas or in and uh send it over to the instructor for criticism and uh, uh you know what am i doing wrong what am i doing correctly you know uh, looking at the overall technique pretty much Yes, I do find the controls will lay out <laughs> logical ways. It frees up the, the instructor for uh, training with, the, with other guys, but uh, getting them set up with the machine, once they were familiar with the controls, uh, with today's technology, plus also what you're looking at is also a savings in training materials as, as far as uh, having to use a lot of uh, material. You, you're capable of running a bead and uh, recording, making uh, 
corrections, adjustments, and, and seeing exactly what's taking place, and then performing another well as compared to just comp welding and, and uh, having to do brake test. The only thing I'd use differently, I like a water screen, something to where this, the, the camera would be water to where you could see more into the welding instead of starting and then coming into the welding. Something water where you could see from point A to point B from start to finish. The, the larger monitor would definitely be a plus in instructing multiple students, a uh, full class, or even being able to, uh, to project it uh, onto a larger screen uh, as far as for instructional purposes. As far as being actually in the shop, on the shop floor, this works, works fine the way it, it, it is set up now. Yes, actually, the, if you're able to see the, the actual well puddle a lot more clearly than you actually see it in, in, the, in the helmet, you know, where you see the, the fluidity of the metal, but it's, it's more, you're able to zoom in and see the exact puddle and see exactly what's happening inside the puddle. Yeah, actually, when you don't realize how violent the, the actual well puddle is, when you're looking at it, even through the well helmet, you, you, you're seeing the puddle but you're not seeing in that much detail as to the, what the camera sees. Well, as, as in welding, everything progresses, so you never, you're never at a point where you really stop learning. There's always new technologies and everything coming out.